We're here? Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Mike, we're back. I don't know what the title says. You guys probably clicked on it thinking like, man, maybe Mike has a really cool announcement. Or man, maybe Mike's clickbaiting me. Neither are true. Or both are true. No, one's true. I have a, a big announcement and we're not clickbaiting you. We're going back to my roots. I don't even know how to do this. So I had an idea. We talked about it on the podcast. We want to check out 50% Facts. I've gotten blown up and I've had an idea forever. And I think everyone does. The number one invention or innovation driver is finding an issue or finding something that doesn't fit you and then solving it. I never necessarily felt, and this is no knock to any singular person, I never felt that I was part or that I belonged in the strength game. I felt very much part of basketball culture growing up, even the video game culture now that we play on a Twitch podcast culture and many of the youtubers the omars i have really good friends that i met through fitness but the strength game when i walked or saw other people do it isn't what i do or felt if that makes sense i never lifted weights as a way to get out all my anger so i don't hurt somebody now i'm just rambling connor will cut this up don't worry kids 2011 i'm trying to find a place to improve my knowledge as a coach and as a lifter in strength, conditioning, and powerlifting. I ended up in this facility right here in Sacramento, California, which was at the time called the Midtown Strength. There was a corner of it, a portion of it, leased out by Super Training. That's where I met Jim McDee, Mark Bell, everybody else. Fast forward a year later, they feature me on the YouTube a little bit. I start to get a little bit of recognition on the internet as creating content. And we start a podcast, me and Jim McD. Jim McD comes to me and literally says, hey, I have the idea for a podcast. Would you like to be a third talk, the third co-host? I'm 23 years old. So bro, this is year 2012. Never heard a podcast in my life, Jim. Sounds fun, I'm down. I lifted many a weight in this building. I learned a lot of good, I've learned a lot of bad. Came across a lot of different people from folks that work in the capital um, to recovering drug addicts. About a year ago, two years ago, I'm talking with Jim, and I'm wondering, man, I don't, I'm, I now live in downtown Sacramento. I have nowhere to train. Nowhere near me fits my needs as just a plain barbell athlete, let alone who I think I am as a human. We began looking for locations. Fast forward six months later, uh, I'm getting my phone's blown up from multiple people. Uh, and they said, hey, the old Midtown building's empty. Go open a gym. We're opening a gym. 